Who are you choosing? Are you choosing self-love or other things over you? Welcome to Talk to Auntie Rosie, the podcast that helps women who are healing by having deep conversations, giving practical advice and words of encouragement. Come on, let's talk about it. Welcome back, my beautiful sisters. In today's episode of A Sister Love, formerly known as Talk to Auntie Rosie podcast, on today's episode, I will be talking about who are you choosing? Are you choosing self-love or are you choosing other things or people over yourself? Before we get started, if you're a first-time listener, let me introduce myself. Hi, I am Rose Jones and I am your host here at A Sister's Love. I am a survivor of self-hate, domestic violence, and childhood trauma, and I am currently now battling PTSD. But I didn't allow any of that to stop me. I decided to continue my story. So I created a community for women who are in their beginning stages of self-healing. And our community, we understand their situations and help women build their skills and give them useful tools and educational programs and support on this podcast. I will be sharing my life experiences. We will be having those deep conversations and I'm going to be showering you with love and support and I will also be giving you advice and encouraging words. If you are a woman who are trying to heal, who are working on her self-worth and need a emotional support system, and wants to rebuild her confidence, then my sister, you are in the right place. To become a weekly listener, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you will never miss a episode. So let's start today's episode with what is self-love? As I say always, self-love is appreciation for yourself. It simply means treating yourself with kindness and respect and nurturing your well-being. Self-love is support to your physical, mental, and spiritual growth. It believes It's believing in yourself that you can achieve things in your life, but you are choosing your self-love over anything else. Or do other things have power over you? Mm. Let me share the story with you, my struggles with choosing self-love over other things in my life. You may be able to relate or you may take, or it may feel emotional for you, but the goal is to help you learn from it, you know? So I used to always put myself last. I never thought that I deserved to be first because I didn't think that I was worthy of that privilege. So I thought that I was helping people, but actually I was being used. I remember when I was in a relationship with my kid's father, I used to give up the car while I was at work so that he can have the car for him and the kids. But he used to leave me at work and I end up walking home several times. I remember this one time he forgot me and I worked so far out that there were no buses. So I waited for two hours, but he never showed up. I end up clocking back into work and working a half a shift and he still never showed up. And then my coworker offered to drive me to the nearest bus stop. I got on the bus and then as I got into the city, he finally, finally answered the phone. I told him where I was at so that he could come pick me up. Instead, he gets mad at me and didn't believe my story. He turned it all around on me, like always, and tried to make it seem like I was never at work, that I was cheating on him. This made me so mad, okay? That I hung up the phone, got on the bus, and when I got home, we got into the biggest argument. But the end result was the same. Like always, I allowed him to convince me that he was sorry. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys that his excuse was that he fell asleep. So I allowed him to convince me that his sleeping was more important than me getting home and getting sleep so I can get back to work at three o'clock. I don't think I told y'all, I worked three to 11. At that time, so by the time I made it home, no sleep, no nothing, all I had time to do was 
yell at him while taking a shower, eat something, kiss my babies, and head right back to work. Do you think I took the car that day? Nope. I allowed him to drop me off at work. Yes, he was still late picking me up. This became a cycle in all my relationships, in my romantic ones, my family ones, my friendships, my businesses. I literally take the back seat. The problem here is that I didn't think that I deserved to be happy. I didn't understand my worth and I didn't love myself. I used to think that I was lucky to, I was lucky that people even wanted to be bothered with me or even be in any type of relationship with me because I didn't think that I was beautiful. I used to refer to myself as the ugly duckling. It was a privilege for me to be in company of anyone. So I thought that I needed to keep them happy so that they could stay around. This caused me years in my business because I was so busy being a people pleaser that it to, that I hope so many people build their business while mine suffered. I stayed in relationships so long that I had friendships that weren't really my friends. I lost love and respect for myself. My confidence, my self-esteem, my worth was affected because of this. I got to the point in my life that I didn't want to say yes no more. I didn't want to conform no more. I just wanted to do what makes me happy, makes me feel good. So I stopped answering my phone. I stopped showing up for people who didn't show up for me. I stopped calling. I stopped caring about people, how people see me, view me. I start being around people who value me and truly love me for who I am and accept me as I stand. But I'm telling you this, it is hard because I told myself all 2022, I will be first. This is the year I choose to work on me and my business. And that means less time for everyone else. But I realized that it's okay to take time out for yourself and focus on yourself. Sometimes taking a step back can help you take several steps forward. But again, I know that it's easier said than done. I want to give you a few ways to help you put yourself first and focus on your needs and happiness. I hope that's okay. Drop a comment below if you ever experienced this yourself. The problem here is that other people have only surface level understanding of me and I, for a quite long time, did not understand it. I thought they loved me, so I should better ignore such minor events, but they were not minor. They were actually affecting my soul slowly and gradually. I had to bear all these things unless I differentiate between real love and being used by others. I realized that they only wanted me for their own sake. They never understand me and they never tried to help me with my problems. I was actually choosing other people and their feelings over me. But when I realized such things, I got a better understanding of self-love. I understood why I should love myself and how it helped me to regain my self-worth. I then understood all of this and I refrained from being the one who people take advantage of. I stopped answering my thoughts and I preferred my physical, emotional, and psychological health over anything else. I prefer what I like and what I desire over other things and other people. Now, here, here I'm talking to you, trying to help you because I may understand how it feels to get exploited from people's sake. And I assure you that I can share with you the ways to sort out these bad feelings. So now let's talk about how to fix this problem from your end. The first thing you should do is to accept and respect yourself and your feelings. When you do so, you will be capable of differentiating between self-love and being used by people. Here is three things to solve this problem that was affecting for me. And now I'm going to share with you, number one, say no to things that you don't want to do. Yes is a word that may 
give you new opportunities, but no is a word that can help you win back your self-esteem and confidence. Believe me, if you practice saying no, the things you don't want to do, no one can ever manipulate you. No one can exploit you. In your in my story, when I drew a line between myself and others, I regained my self worth and my confidence to live in this world independently. Just to say them directly, no, I cannot or I don't want to. Then they cannot do anything. It may be different, difficult at first, but it will be worth it. Next, avoid apologies and explanations to others. You do not need to explain to them your plans and apologies for anything. It's not your responsibility. Believe this in the best way to nurture your love for yourself. Spend time with yourself. Get to know who you are. If you want to stand against anything in your life, the most important step should be spending time with yourself. Get to know who you are what you want to nurture your soul and what things are bothering you. If you can't understand yourself, then trust me, no one in this world can too. No one can be interested in yourself unless you are interested in yourself. When you know yourself, your desires and your demands, then you can fight for yourself and not let other people use you. Also, you can't rely on other people's words because you have to be the one that feeds yourself. Your words is the ones that truly matter. Choose people around you wisely. I believe in the most important thing that you should do is that you should be around people that really help you. You should choose your community carefully. The people you are choosing should respect you, respect your decision and not judge you and condemn you for them. They should be there to support you, love you and guide you when you ask for it or need it. People surrounding you can significantly impact your potential and how you successful you can become. If you having people in your community who can understand you and always stand by your side, then congratulations. If you're a lucky one, but if you are standing on the other side of this picture, then don't worry, just delete them all and start new. <laughs> With encouraging people around you, they should make you feel yourself, not exploit you for their benefits. Well, that's it for today's episode. I hope this story helped you discover something or see yourself or your situation in a new light. But before I end this episode, I would like to invite you to my Facebook group called Let Rose Speak Sisterhood. If you are a woman who are going through a difficult situation and want help, you are trying to start your self-healing process, then this is the group for you. This is not your basic group. We have weekly challenges, monthly live sessions where I answer questions and have you have about self-healing, self-love, and personal development. Inside this group, we motivate each other and support each other. This group is no judgment zone. The best part is that it's private and it's free. So if you want to join this group, you can click the link in the description below or you can search us up directly on Facebook. Just go to the group tab and type in Let Rose Speak Sisterhood. If you learned something new from today's episode, then don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share this to someone who may need it. And subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. So I'll see you in the next episode where I will be talking about how to overcome your negative mindset. Remember, your sister is here for you. So come talk to me and leave a comment below. Bye-bye.